So here's a very brief video, um, probably pretty non-exciting, but just uh, an overview of the SD2 Ferrari diagnostic system. Um, so it just comes in this little canvas case, nothing too exciting. Um, you open it up and uh, it's got a window that you can, I guess, you know, keep it in the case if you like. But I'll pull out of the case to show you what the unit looks like. Um, it's kind of like a tablet, but it's it's much thicker. I actually think that this case is um, is actual carbon fiber, believe it or not. When you look through it, you can see the weave and whatnot. So um, the back side, there's some some rubber feet that you can put on the desk, and there's some fasteners in there. So it does look like this is a cover plate in the back that comes off uh, to access the board and whatnot. So um, you got some connections here. This is a connection to go to the PC to a serial connection. Um, this is a parallel connection for some different types of connectors. I'm not entirely sure yet. Obviously an on off switch, uh, fuse holder and, and the power. Um, this can be powered with a cigarette lighter adapter or it, it does come with a power supply. Mine did not, no big deal. Pretty inexpensive supply, about 15 bucks. Um, so we'll, we'll power that up and um, we'll take a look at some of the screens. Now this unit is um, can be used, my understanding, standalone, just the device, or through through porting to the PC, which I understand is much much more powerful and there's a lot more uh, information you can see. So I'll be getting into that soon. So we'll power it up when we do so. We get a little splash screen that comes up as it's booting up apparently. So you hit any key. So you see we've got some options here. Link to PC, standalone mode, set parameters. I'll go into that. Under there's There's really not a lot of parameters here. <clears throat> it's mostly the, the display, brightness, contrast, buzzer, language. Uh, we look at the language settings. There's uh, looks like uh, English, French, Dutch, Spanish, and Italian. So obviously keep that on English. Okay. Um, really no need to mess with the brightness or, or whatnot. So I think that's really the only settings here. We'll escape out of that. Um, standalone. So what this is doing now is, um, my understanding is, is showing the software that is loaded on this device currently. And the seller was kind enough to put 355 software on here for me. Um, again, I'm just learning this, so there's a lot I don't know, but my understanding is that this device is, does not have enough storage capacity for uh, all the software of all the models it can uh, do diagnostics with. So you have to um, basically remove and load software from the PC to this device to use it. But um, So you see we've got Bosch Motronic 2.7. Um, Capote, I understand, is the convertible top software, and I, I need to learn my uh, Italian and English translations. So you got an airbag um, for 355 and 456. Um, I don't know what this one means in Italian, so I have to learn that. Um, ABS Bosch, uh, Motronic 5.2 for the 355, um, the Bilstein uh, shock control, and um, Cambio Morelli, I believe, is the F1 system. So that is all the software that is on this currently. Now, if I select one of these, I don't think anything's going to happen because I'm not connected to the PC or the car, so we'll just do it. Um, apparently, you select what ISO cable you want to connect with. Again, when I do this, I don't think anything's going to happen here. Okay, so it's really not, you know, doing anything. Again, I'm just fumbling around with this. I just wanted to create a little brief video to show the unit 
and some of the screens. Um, I'll be getting into connecting this to the PC and my car hopefully uh, within the next week.